Good Tuesday morning. I hope all of you are doing well and enjoying this beautiful sunny morning. As I was um, driving to school this morning with Aubrey, my youngest, and talking with her about the joy of the sunshine and the hope of possible <laughs> changing seasons, I think most of us are ready. Um, I also was talking to her about making my video this morning. <clears throat> and I love to oftentimes share in the wisdom of children. And so I asked her, what are some things you've talked about at school lately that you think would be good for me to share? And thankfully, my daughter has a great teacher who shares quality videos. Um, oftentimes right now, the children aren't eating in the lunchroom. So oftentimes during lunch, they'll get to watch something. And she shared with me that yesterday they watched a video and it talked about how we can imagine that people are carrying around buckets. And I think many of you have probably heard this theory before, but it's a good reminder. And she said, Mom, it said to think about if everyone is carrying around a bucket and it's empty, but we can help fill each other's bucket. If we do nice things for one another, or if we talk to someone who looks sad, or if we just say good morning and greet each other, or open a door for someone. And as, as overjoyed as I was that, wow, my daughter is learning things like this in school, and I'm so thankful and appreciative for that. I also got thinking that, what a great reminder, because right now, I think we are all feeling like our buckets are beyond empty. If we haven't, maybe dropped them three days ago. Um, it's winter, and although many of us love the snow and love the change of seasons, after a while, winter just becomes a lot, especially when you know that we have friends and family in other states that are encountering winter that is unexpected and it creates difficulties. That is hard. Add on top of that life itself, because we're all busy. We have crazy busy schedules, COVID. Many of us have encountered difficulties watching others hurt, suffer loss, just life, right? Nothing more than what we all know we are all experiencing. But imagine if we all had our bucket and just one thing that we could do for one other person could help fill their bucket. If we just focus on filling the bucket of someone else, our bucket will get filled as well. And the difference that that can make. Because I promise when you focus on filling someone else's bucket, it in turn fills yours. And you might feel tired and you might think, I don't have it in me to even carry my own bucket, let alone try to fill someone else's. But the joy that it brings when you know you've put a smile on someone else's face, whether you know it or not, it will bring joy into your own heart and it will help fill your own bucket. And I'm right there with many of you. There are days lately that I have felt overwhelmingly exhausted with everything that has gone on. Just the day to day. There are also days that I have felt overwhelmingly overjoyed at the thought of change of seasons and a Lent beginning because that always ignites a joy in me of knowing spring is coming. That joy of Jesus rising always seems to remind me of a fresh start, a restart, that new beginning in so many ways. So my challenge to you this week, or my prayer for you this week, is that you are able to fill someone else's bucket in some small way, or that someone else is able to fill your bucket in some small way. I do have a devotion I'd like to share with you. 
just as a reminder to each one of us. And I often need this as a reminder to myself as well. And this is another one that we may have all heard before, but it's a good regular reminder. Creating margin. And this is a daily devotional. Um, it's just a three minute devotional book that I often use. From Exodus 33, 14, it says, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And this devotion reminds us from the very first chapter of Genesis, God teaches us to take rest. He rested on the seventh day of creation and declared it good. Later, as the Israelites entered the promised land, God ordered the people to give the soil a rest every seven years. When we short ourselves on rest, illness can result because that's our body's way of telling us, slow down, take a break. I can't keep up. And if you don't listen to me, I'm going to force you to slow down. God believes in rest, but most of us live lives that are packed to the brim. We are overwhelmed. And with a, such a fragile balance, unexpected occurrences, like something as simple as a dead car battery, can wreck us emotionally, can wreck us spiritually. That's not the lifestyle God wants us to have. He grants us sleep. He wants us to create a margin for the unexpected so that we have the ability to help a neighbor in need or a grandparent who requires extra attention or a friend who needs extra encouragement, our own kids who might just need a little bit of extra time. Life is busy, but God wants us to find rest and create that margin so that when those little things do happen, <clears throat> excuse me, it isn't overwhelming. We can handle it and we can give as he wants us to. So we ask him, help me to listen to your instruction and heed your words. I pray this week, as I said, that someone will fill your bucket that you are able to fill someone else's bucket. And remember to create that margin. Have a blessed week, and I will see you back here next Tuesday.